Hey everybody, Dave here from Band of Badgers. Um, right, so as I promised, if you've already seen the unboxing of this particular box, if not, you can go up here somewhere, you'll see a little bit of text and a link, go and check it out now. Um, so what I promised we would do is to look at these minis. So this is a box of paints uh, from, just in case you don't know, from Army Painter, they have a series called Game Master. This is the Character Starter Role Playing Paint Set. It comes with 20 paints, a paintbrush, and five heroes to paint, you can see there. Um, plus you are, you've, got, you've got the colored inversions there, but, and they come here. So I promised that we would paint them, and here we are. That's what we're gonna do right now. So here we are, there's my big reveal. That's all done, I'll just get that one floor out of the way. So what I want to do is these are, um, they say no glue required. You can just press these in. Now, me being me, I probably will glue them, um, but I'm gonna see how, how well they fit in uh, together as they are. Now, uh, do we have, I'm just, just checking these out. So we'll have a good look. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see these. These are sprue-based minis. It's about five mil thick uh, sprues there, and they're really detailed. They're textured, which I covered all that in the unboxing. So if you wanna have a good look at that, please do. But this video, I'm just gonna uh, chill out for a little bit. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes um, to put these together. I'm gonna attempt to do all five. There are five heroes here. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump straight in. I think he says. Uh, right. So I can see they got uh, there's B. Do we have an A? We have, we have A, B, D, C. There's no A. Oh, there's an A, there's an A. So A there just requires the base. Oh, that's an all in one mini. Okay, let's give that a go. So to um, just so you're not bored, I'm gonna chuck in some music in the background while I do this. I'm gonna probably be fairly quiet, but if I do talk, I will talk as normal. There we go. So I'm gonna shove this on, listen to some chilling Ben sounds in the background. There we go. When I have a play. Again, let's get rid of this. Always use my safety tools. So yeah, we'll start with, this is the Rogue. And it simply has a, a mini and a base. Uh, now, unfortunately, I don't have any proper cleanup tools. But I'm gonna try and be as neat and tidy as I can. There we go, fine, okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's stick it on this base. So each one matches a particular base, which is good. Saves me having to pick and choose. I can just follow the instructions, right? So let's have a look at this. Let's get this nice and, nice and clean and tidy. Let's tidy it out. Now obviously I'm gonna once these minis are done, I can then prime them. Uh, so we've got uh, Adam Abramowitz from Army Painter. Will be yeah, look, Army Painter. Will be uh, will be joining us for a special episode of Brush Off uh, coming soon. So if you're watching this, well, you don't. You, if you're watching this, it's definitely going to be on YouTube because that's where the video is. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you see that that bit of text just there where it says subscribe. Hit that, if you would. We're trying to hit our target of 800 and every little bit helps. So if you could do that, that would be mighty nice of you. Now, it does say that one seems to have an image of a foot. So there's a footprint there. Try and get it in the middle of the camera. I'm zooming in quite heavily. Right, so there's that, and then that's that, and then this should Oh, that is actually quite nice and stiff. That was not hard to do at all. And that is actually quite firm. Um, let's see if I can get a, there she is. Now there is a molding line, which the, the light is picking up there. I can barely see it with my own eyes, but there we go. 
Um, but if I had the right tools, you could probably get rid of those. In fact, I've just, I'm actually using, uh, the light source that I'm using is from uh, Green Stuff World. I've just, my pre-order for their LED arch has turned up. That's probably why it looks so much better. Or, or I'm seeing so much more detail. Probably. I'm saying probably. If you actually, if you have any tools that you recommend uh, for for miniatures, share them in the comments below. Not just for me, but for everyone else. But uh, these minis, I'm going to be saying this several times. These minis, we will be uh, we'll be painting these in an upcoming brush off with, as I mentioned, Adam. Oh, look, that's one. I've done one. All right, uh, with B. B is the sorcerer. We have a Tifling sorcerer. So that is, we have a female human, maybe, or half elf. Can't quite see the ears. Uh, she's the rogue. Great, great sword there. And again, we look within, we went into detail on this in the unboxing video, so do go and check that out. Um, but here, I'm going to give this a little bit of a go. I won't be talking much or lots. That's why I'm giving you the tunes. Hope you like the tunes. Bensound.com. Go check them out. Oh, there we go. That one came out nice and easy. So that one and that's, that is, that's B2. There's the base, B1. So one, the ones at all of the bases. Okay, look, we're getting into the stride now. Now we know what we're doing. So this is why other people who are much better at this than me, I am a, I am a beginner. I'm not completely beginner, I've done 50 odd hours. Um, but I'm still, I was still definitely, I'm done, I'm beginner. I'm table ready. That's what I am. Mr. Table ready. I don't do competitions and I don't do anything else. It's just for fun. Not interested in competitions. I like a good challenge. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I like a good challenge. But I'm not interested in competition mini painting. There we go. Clean these up a little bit. Uh, this is also the first time uh, I've done a video like this. So we, we do live stream miniature painting and you've seen the unboxing videos but I wanted, and I've used, I've recorded doing minis before. Um, we did some frameworks, sprue-based minis, which were which were made by WizKids, and I recorded making some of them. I think we made most of them now, but I didn't talk over it. I just, I just did it. It didn't take long. It's a bit like this, really. Nine minutes at the moment with me jabbering on. Now I'm assuming that will go in there. Oh, it does. That's a nice fit. That is a very nice fit in there. I don't think it's it's good enough that I don't think that will fall off. But I probably, I, me being me, I will probably go back and glue that in. Now his base, we have a spare footprint there. That's the only foot it could be, because that's the only one with a thing on it. But I do like the fact it is snap, it just snaps on. I mean, that is pretty good. Snap fit, sprue base minis, and you get 20 paint, uh, 20 pence, 20 paints, 20 paints in the set. I mean, look at that. 
Look at his face, look at the detail on there. So, yeah, as I said, we're gonna be painting these in an upcoming brush off. We have a series called The Great British Brush Off. Check us out, YouTube. Again, hit that subscribe button. While you're watching this, hit that subscribe button. These are kind of great videos as well. If you want, just wanna, if you're painting your own minis or building or whatever, just stick banded badges on in the background. You'll love it. Uh, okay, let's go with C. Let's see one. Which one is C? So there's two down, three to go. There's the base. C1. C2. Oh, we've got the dwarf. This is the dwarven cleric. Ouch. Don't drop your plier snappy things, whatever these are. Because it might help. If you have any questions about these, please do do use the comments below. Type in your question. Um, if I don't know the answer, which is highly likely, <laughs> maybe you were hoping for more there, which is highly likely, um, what is it on? Then I will try and find the answer out for you. So I'm just trying to Ping ping, cut these out. Get them all nice. There's not again. I don't have any proper tools. I've just got me, me angled plier thingy things. My thingy things. Uh, army painter. If you have anything that you would like to suggest. Then I am all ears. There we go. All right, so let's put his arm in first. Make sure, <laughs> make sure his arm is the right way around. That's wrong. You got something wrong there, son. That way around. It's kind of like, oh, it's just gonna charge. And that's a, ouch, that's a tight fit. I don't need, I don't need glue on that one. Oh, dented my finger putting that one in. Uh, so that goes in this way. Yep. That is correct. There we go, look, whoa, and I love that pose. You're messing with me. Oh, it should be Scottish. Oh, yeah, laddie. You want some of this? I love that. Great detail as well, I mean, look. Try and get the uh, the light to pick up there. Yeah, beard. I love the, I mentioned this on the unboxing, but the wood inlay, you just got that kind of wood shape. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the shield, way. And you can see how deep that is. Uh, let me try and get it on the camera. Just look at like this, this bit here. You see on the top of the wings, how deep that is. I mean, that's two, maybe three mil of depth. Wow. And these aren't, these are, this is a, not exactly a one piece mini, but the body, is completely intact. It's a it's a one piece. It's not like a front, and then you attach it to the back. That is that is, that is quite nice. Good good base on there. Detailed base. Oh, oh. quite happy to, to paint him. Right, that's A B C. Then comes D. Let's see what we got with D. So this is number four out of five. I'm quite surprised how quickly. I mean, I hit him for 15 minutes, but most of that is waffle. <laughs> so, 
And also do let me know if you like these videos. Do let me know if you would like to see more uh, miniature stuff, painting stuff, tabletop stuff, unboxings, painting. Uh, oh, it's another One Piece. Oh, fantastic. I wonder if they are going to make more of these. Or if they could... I don't know if they want to get into the mini market because what they do is obviously sell paints. But what if they do like a whole collection of of these in, in sort of one one batch. I mean that's five. I mean look at that. That's that's five characters ready to go. There's your whole party. But if you could do and we, we've got a rogue, a sorcerer, a cleric. Um, obviously we've got an elven ranger or ranger. You know, there's plenty more classes and, and options to choose from. You need, and if you went around, I mean, would you go for a box? What would you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Stick the answers on a postcard. Would you like to see um, like five ready-to-go dwarves of different classes, or just like this, a mix of races and classes? I think I prefer the races, um, the mixed. The mixed races options because oh i see oh he's got got his foot on the little brick so this is again let's show this on the uh, unboxing but you can see the amount of raised shadow there that that is a step that is actually angled up raised off the uh the detail and that i would love to know who is that going to fit in? I would love to know who uh, designed these minis. Who is the artist behind them? Is it you? Let us know. If you want to come, whoop, I've got a floating foot. <laughs> Look at that, I've got a floating foot. All right, so we are back on. Um, what is E? Okay, number five. And then we're done. one this is the paladin paladin or the fighter nope. right, let's just make sure that came out okay It's hair. It's actually a ponytail. I thought that was an arm. But it's actually hair. Look at that. 
That's a, I mean, that's that's definitely in. That's great. It's really nicely lined up. Better than my floating foot, although I have since fixed the floating foot. There we go. It was just give it a little twist. It was in. Uh, and this one goes in there. There we go. Another one done. That, that looks, that looks brilliant. I think, I know I'm, a, I'm, I'm into my ranges and that's a great range. It's got a hip quiver and everything. I think that is definitely one of my favorites. So, let's move this out of the way. Somewhere. There we go. Let's turn off Ben's sound. There we go, Ben. Thank you very much. Here are our five minis. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. So I've got my fighter, female fighter, human, dwarven cleric. We have the rogue. We've got a tiefling sorcerer and the ranger. And the cloak, really nice. Lovely details, right? So stay tuned. We're going to be fixing these up. That's uh, right, paint them because we've now fixed them, um, and they look really good. I probably will go back and glue them just to be absolutely sure. But um, overall, really, really impressed. That was pretty quick. I mean, look, I've got five minis done, uh, and now I can paint them. There's my party. You know, if you were doing a uh, the D and D starter box or the Pathfinder starter box. Here you go, five heroes for your new players ready to go. Fantastic. So one last time. I dropped them on the floor, let's get these out of the way. Let's put that in, let's zoom out of it. There we go. This is the Game Master Character Starter Role Playing Paint Set. You get 20 paints, including two washes, two metallics, and a mystery uh, effect. <laughs> I don't know what it does yet. Um, you get a paintbrush and you get five no glue required minis. Absolutely fantastic. There you go. Dwarf cleric, wood elf ranger, human rogue, human fighter, tiefling warlock. <gasps> Check these out in your hobby stores. Uh, get them pre-ordered. Get them ordered now. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I, I really enjoy doing them. So until next time, we'll see you again soon. Be safe. Bye bye. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go on, it's right there. Go on, go on, go on. See you later soon. Be good. Bye-bye.